I'm here at Jackery's booth at CES 2024, and I'm here with Nimesh, who's gonna take us on a pretty cool tour of something very new. Of course, at Jackery, they're well known for their battery banks and solar charging capabilities, but today they have something very special to share with us, and I can't wait to show it to you. So with that, Nimesh, I'm excited to hear more about what I see right behind me. Thank you for the time, Justin. Yeah, so I'm with Jackery. We're a solar generator company. We make different types of solar generator products, including portable power stations and solar panels. But what we've got today is really cool. We've got our Jackery Solar Tent. Let's walk over here and take a look. So here we have our Jackery Solar Generator for rooftop tent. Uh, it is a 1,000 watt solar tent. Uh, has three solar panels, uh, sorry, one center solar panel, two solar wings, 1,000 watt hours. It can typically charge up to five kilowatts of energy per day. It has a built-in 1,200 watt solar uh, power station, or sorry, solar generator portable power station built into it. Uh, has a memory foam mattress built in. Uh, the entire package includes the tent, the solar panels, and the, the solar generator and the portable power station. Very good. And what's unique about this, this isn't just any old rooftop tent, right? This is something a little bit special, of course, that you talked about with the solar panels on top. Now, this one is a prototype. So Correct. Speak, this is a prototype. So we uh, may not see it in this complete exactly. format when it's done. So, this is a prototype showing what we can do what we're going to look forward to creating down the road but when we launch we're launching second half of this year probably q4 it's going to have the center solar panel section that's going to be 400 watt it'll have a 500 to a thousand watts total power station built into the tent it'll be removable but it's very sleekly designed so it doesn't interfere in too much space you'll have plenty of room to sleep for two with the memory foam mattress and all super lightweight uh so it can fit we're trying to get it to fit as many vehicles as it can uh, final specs are not released yet, but we'll get that to you once we're ready to launch. Yeah, and by lightweight, we mean somewhere between 150, definitely less than 200 pounds. That's what we're, that's what we're targeting. Uh, yeah. We'll have to get to the final uh, version of it before we can quote that. But the idea is that we're trying to be as light as possible because we know we want to be applicable to as many vehicles on the market as well. Right, yeah. So what's nice about that is not only do you have a rooftop tent that's going to be able to accommodate most vehicles, but also, it has everything integrated, exactly. which is the difference, right? It's a right? total kit. Yes, total kit. Everything will be sold together. You're going to have some expansion packs if you want some more storage of power, uh, different accessories. But uh, like the accessory, for example, that we're looking to launch is an AC adapter, an AC inverter kit to where you can charge off the alternator. That way, you can get 6,000 watts of generation off of the power of your vehicle. may not work quite as well for the Teslas, but for all gas-powered vehicle, you can get a lot more power generation out of the unit. Yeah, and that's kind of uh, what's cool about it, being able to be kind of multi-purpose, being able to accommodate as many different types of vehicles. Because, of course, not all of us are in EVs just yet. Right. But we're headed that yep. way, which yep. is yep. what's great. Yeah. Now, let's take a walk over there because it's pretty cool, and I think I'll let you take, take a better look at it. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Let's take a look. So the first thing that I notice when I look around this is there's really not anything that stands out as too radically different. So it's going to be what people are used to in a rooftop exactly. tent. Exactly, yes. It just happens to have everything in place to allow you to do solar, to allow you to do battery all in one spot. And because of the footprint, it's probably going to accommodate most vehicles. Correct. Right? Right. That's, that's our target. We are tar trying to target as many vehicles as we can. We know that people are doing van life and outdoor adventures in all types of vehicles. Not always a big truck like this, but a small SUV or even a small station wagon or a sedan. We want to make sure that we can accommodate as many vehicles as we can with this yeah. concept. Very good. Let's yeah. come around the back now. Before we head back there, actually, something that Niresh did point out to me earlier was kind of their setup for, this is the inverter, correct? Correct. It's the inverter. So the idea is that we want to create an accessory that not only can you power from the sun, which is our, our goal to power free and so sustainable energy from the sun, but you can also power off the engine motor while you're driving. So we have an alternator adapter unit that will plug into the, uh, connect to the alternator. You can generate up to 400 watts to a total of 6,000 watt uh, output per day uh, off of the bat the engine motor. And then as we come around the back, you guys have some cool stuff kind of plugged yeah, yeah. in to kind so, of highlight. So we're showing off your case the general power stations so that we have a 2000 plus here. It's, it's a, a Jackery Explorer 2000 plus. This thing is uh, 3000 watt output, 2000 watt hours of, of energy, but it can power a microwave. It can power a uh, hot plate, uh, your cooler. This, is, this thing will power your entire expedition, uh, whether you're going out on a, for a week on the road, and you can power with solar panels. Okay, so 
pretty cool. We can see some of the traditional things that you've been able to do with Jackery, and that's still the case here. So looking at this tent, I know we don't have full specs yet, but yeah. it should accommodate two people. Yeah, definitely Not should sure accommodate two yet. people. We'll figure out the final weight specs as we get closer to market, but it'll have some lights in there. It'll have some power ports. So everything can be, you can power your life through the solar generator and the portable power station that are built into the unit. Yeah. So you can actually be on the road camping and not have to worry about electricity. You'll have power at your fingertips. Very good. And one of the things that's like so popular about these rooftop tents is it gives you the ability to get out there and explore. And that's the whole point. That's kind of what you guys yeah, do at we're, Jackery, we're Jackery, right? We, we're all about exploration. We want people to kind of get out in nature, enjoy the nature, but do it sustainably, power off the sun as best as possible and uh, have a good good time in the in the nature. Yeah, and then of course with rooftop tents, when you're not using the tent, folds down nicely nice and compact, to help yep. with aerodynamics. Well, Niresh, it was very cool seeing this. I thank you very much for sharing very the details with me. I cannot wait to thank see this Thank you very this much, thing. yeah. Q4 sure. Q4 this year? Q4 of this year. Uh, I'll give you an update as we get closer. Very good. Thank you. Thanks again to Jackery for sharing all these awesome details of this new rooftop tent.